Hello, my beautiful people. I promised that I will be making more videos and I do want to share with you all some of my home skincare routine that I've been doing during quarantine. Um, please bear with me. This is my first video. I'm still not a professional. I don't claim to be one. I'm just going to be doing my best. Um, first, we're going to start with my headband. And by the way, this is my quarantine hairstyle. My hair, as people that already know me, my hair is super curly, super puffy, super wild. So this is kind of like what keeps my hair more um, in shape so I can sleep with this. So I don't have to see anybody. I'm just home with my kids and my husband. I'm doing a lot of work from home. Um, I've been really lazy with my body, meaning like I'm not doing any exercise. I need to really move my body a little bit more, but I am for sure taking care of my skin. That's the only thing that I take pride is my skin. I am super obsessed about skincare and you can pretty much tell <laughs> because I do on a spa and that's one of the things that I specialize. So first I'm gonna put this on. And here you go, right? And there was my little headband. And first, I am going to start with a cleanser. So everybody should have a cleanser at home, everybody. So I have to take on from here, as you can see, I got interrupted by one visitor, and this is Henry, my first, my firstborn. He has a little, he has a little, a little, a little scarf on his, you know, a little mark. He fell, of course, that's what he does. So this is him, and he was the one that interrupted before I was about to start. So he might be in here screaming, so please forgive me for that. I, I, I cannot really do this in peace. This is what my life has been. Say bye, and you're going to go. Say bye to the camera. Okay, say bye. Say bye. Mm -hmm. ah, no, you got to get off of mommy. Okay. So I said... <clears throat> This is the first step, it's a cleanser. Everybody should have a cleanser at home. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you say, oh, my skin is sensitive, I only use soap and water. You should have a skin cleanser that is pretty much formulated for your skin type. There are a lot of cleanser out there that are for all skin type. I like to use this one. This one is Perfect Visage. It's a milky cleanser. My skin tends to get really dry. I'm very dehydrated. I don't drink a lot of water. I've been having kids back to back. So obviously I'm a little bit of a of water. So this helps me put back that moisture back into my skin. So that will be the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cleanse. Then I'm going to exfoliate. And this is a multi, a resurface and multi exfoliant. This one is really good. It's gonna help with um, removing all that dead skin, bringing out all that nice bright skin underneath all this build up on um, dead cell skin so this is really important and this is going to be my exfoliant then this is going to be my mask everybody should have a mask i don't care what you say everybody should wear a mask you know at least once a week whether you have acne skin oily skin mature skin um dehydrated whatever your case is you should be wearing a mask this is going to be a uh, age defense mask so this is going to help me with you know anti-aging i'm already in my 40s so i need to really take care of my skin um and I do a lot of anti-aging skincare routine. Then after that, I'm going to tone. And this is my toner. I swear by this toner. It's a rose toner. This stuff is like the bomb.com and more. If I can shower with this, I would do it. It's just going to be too expensive. This helps um, remove all the impurities. It helps um, retain all the moisture into your skin. It neutralizes your pH balance. So you really need to have a toner. This is a very important part of your skincare routine. And then after the toner, I am going to use a serum. I love this serum. This is a dry oil. It's a roses on. It's from Fitimer. You don't have to use a serum. These are boosters. Boosters are just going to help your skin perform better. If you don't have a serum, you can just go directly to your moisturizer. I use this anti-wrinkle skin moisturizer. It's anti-aging. You can use it day and night. You can put it, um, you know, to and you're right under your, your sunblock if you're gonna be doing it during the daytime or at night. This is really high performing um, moisturizer. Again, you don't need a serum, but if you wanna use one, you can go ahead and use the serum and put it underneath your moisturizer. And serums are really good. They like skin boosters. Then my last step is going to be my eye cream. 
and this is my anti-aging eye cream and you can hear my son he's in the background and he is not going to let me do this facial in peace um then you're gonna need two cut rounds these are really everybody should have cut rounds at home if you don't you can use your hands and apply it but don't worry about it um you will need a brush to apply your mask if you don't have a brush it's totally fine you can use your hands and apply it and this is a spatula to remove product from the container you really don't want to be dipping your fingers you don't want to contaminate the jar so you really want to use the a spatula to remove your your product and last is you're gonna need a bowl and water and this is just to kind of like clean your face as you go and I also happen to have a steamer, but that's just because I am an esthetician and I'm like obsessed with, with everything that is skincare. So I will have a steamer at home. You can steam a little bit your skin with the uh, exfoliant. You can leave it on. Or if you use like an exfoliating mask, you can um, steam it. If you don't have a steam, do not worry about it. It's not going to be a deal breaker. It's really good because it helps open, it help open those pores and remove impurities and clean up, you know, all that steaming, all that extra oil, all that blackheads if you are going to be doing extractions you want to do that after your exfoliation so this would be good but if you don't have it don't worry i paid 30 dollars for this one off amazon it's really cheap really easy and this is one like a lifesaver so i am going to start and i'm going to open my water and i'm going to use some hot water and here is my water and my towel I'm about to start and I have to get down because my kit is just dropping everything on the floor. So my cleanser, like I said, and it's Fitamar. I love Fitamar. It's a French brand. It's all marine. Um, super natural. So I'm going to start with cleaning my face and clean your neck. And you're going to do this and clean your face if you want to be super super good you can do like a double cleanser i like to do double cleanser i like to like double cleanse my skin and here we are yeah and again i like to use this milky cleanser because my skin tends to be really really dry and this one helps with my it helps with that moisture back onto my skin and you really want to keep the skin moisturized and hydrated. And I'm going to remove this moisturizer. I mean moisturizer, no, my, my, my cleanser. And sorry. They say after you have a baby, you have like baby brain. And I am starting to really believe it. My brain is like completely off. I've been having kids back to back. I waited too long to have them. Now I'm like pretty much in a rush, but I'm done. I'm not having any more kids. So now this is the exfoliant. Remember what I said about the spatula? So this is why you want to use it because you don't want to be double dipping in here. My jar and my products tend to be a little bit bigger because I have my professional use. I do have a lot of account with different vendors, so I tend to get bigger size. I don't expect anybody to have something this big at home as an exfoliant. But because I, on a spa, I got to get those little parts to buy things that are um, large size. So you're going to apply your exfoliant and you're going to exfoliate your skin. Try to focus on these areas that you have creases, that you start seeing sign of age. Try to like exfoliate it really good. You go like this in your crowd's feet. You kind of do that. You do the same in the side. Don't neglect your neck. Remember, your neck is really important because that's one of the first places where you're gonna start showing your age. So if the exfoliant feels a little rough, take a little bit of cleanser put a little bit of cleanser and make it more softer. You can totally formulate any of you like in a rush. You can always cleanse and exfoliate at the same time. There's a lot of products that are formulated to do both. So you can do this at home. Just put it together and that way you're cleaning and you're exfoliating at the same time. Sometimes there's products that are two in one, so that's totally acceptable. 
I like to have different products, but if you have two in one, go for it. There's nothing saying you cannot do it. I like to have them separate because I like to exfoliate my skin twice a week, but you can see all that circulation coming to my skin. By the way, my brows are like a mess. I am not going to wax. Obviously, I don't have a wax at home. I could bring one, but I decided not to. But I'm trying to see how long I can grow them to see if I can like give them a nice shape after quarantine. So I am removing my exfoliant. Remember, you can use the steamer with the exfoliant. I didn't use one because I figured nobody, you know, some of you might not have a steamer, so I don't want to like complicate it. Do that, but if you use hot water, that works just as good. So here I am. I wash. I exfoliate. Now I'm going to use some mess. And you can use a brush to apply it. If you don't have a brush, do not worry about it. Use your hands and apply it. I have a brush, so I'm just gonna kind of put it and then I'm going to, you can put it underneath your eyes, especially as like a moisturizing mask. Put it over your lips. Put some moisture over your lips. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Put a little over your eyes. Not too close to the eyes, but it's like a moisturizer, moisturizing mask. Don't put over your lip or eye a exfoliating mask. Never do that. This is more like an anti-aging, hydrating mask. That's why I'm doing it. If not, I would not be doing that. Okay, so remember that. Now you can wait 10 minutes wait, while you have the mask. I am going to be cleaning my brush and changing my water and I'm gonna go and check on my son. Okay, I'm back. I am back. Has been 15 minutes. So I left a little longer. I have my hot towel and I'm going to remove this mask. And he is back. This is my baby is at the door and you can hear him. He is trying to get in. He is here. He, so you will hear him. <laughs> Okay, so my baby's here. Okay, so I don't have any more masks. I removed everything. Everything is off. Everything is like completely good, right? Now I'm gonna turn. So I'm gonna make two cut around. And I'm going to This is a really easy facial. It shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes and you can probably do it in 15 minutes if you leave the mask for like 10 minutes um this is my eye cream and i'm going to like massage especially over there on the side and this is like my and then i'm going to do the other side a little more and this eye cream is for full eye you can do it up and bottom top and bottom it's full orbital so you can do it around your eyes there's not that many that you can do that but this one you can and i'm going to use my serum remember what i said this step you can skip but i am going to use serum because i love my serum and this is like a rose serum and We are, I like to massage it, I like to give a little bit of massage when I'm applying this. If you can give yourself a little massage, do that. Anywhere that you have wrinkles, anywhere that you have skin collapsing, massage it, okay? So I'm just kind of like massaging and my skin gets a little red from the stimulation. Some people can relate. And then my last step is gonna be my moisturizer. You don't need a lot, a little bit goes a long way. 
and this is all I'm using, okay? Hello, I, I see a lot of people using lots of products and put it in your fingertip, go like this, and just kind of like apply it on your face, never rub it in your hands unless you have like a cleanser and you need to foam it or spread it to clean it in your face. Same for an exfoliant. But when you're using like moisturizer serum, do not rub your hands because you're just going to be using a lot of that product on your hands and your hand doesn't need it, your face does. And a lot of these products tend to be really expensive, so you don't want to really run them that quick. They should last you a long time. If you're savvy, you should be able to use them for a while. Okay, so this is my to do a home facial. You can see my skin is a little red. That's just from all the stimulation, all the microcirculation, all that blood coming to the surface of my skin and, and carrying all the nutrient. And I am done. This is my quarantine do it at home facial. Thank you for watching. Bye.